island in Colombia houses over 250 people who struggle on a daily basis with getting water from their well, preserving food, and even basic communication with the outside world is impossible. This leads to massive threats during emergencies, limited opportunity for economic growth, and the inability to learn from the internet. Their isolation is severely impacting their lives. So this is exactly why I'm sending Dan and Darren there right away. To help build a solar grid, which will provide reliable electricity, to install internet, and then surprise them with an everlasting food source. When we first got- I don't know where all of the stuff that's happening. Not happening in it. Mm, like, influence certain things. What I'm trying to say is maybe it's not that bad. But it's kind of bad that you're not up to date with current affairs and stuff like that. Or if in- an emergency situation, bro, there's like no one to call and help and the only way a search and rescue or if our team will come for them is probably when the whole island is in engulfed with flames. So the internet will help learn and stay up to date and stuff and as well as bring entertainment and like free their mind and stuff that they might be going through. And as always, Mr. Beast always tries to provide better quality, better standard of life and everything and just all around something wonderful that him and his team and his sponsor does. We should strive to do this, even if it's just putting a smile on someone's face, spending the whole day up for just that one moment can carry them through a lot of stuff that they might face later in the day. And uh, Unlimited food supply, bro, that's like a miracle, bro. You're blown away by how resourceful these people are with how little they have. After talking to a few locals, we learned that there hasn't been... That's a slingshot. I've seen that before. We made that before. It's like with a balloon. You can wrap it with a balloon or you can wrap it with elastic. It can have it done on the outside or can inside and put like a car covers um and then you can like pull it through this way i think that's how you make it i don't remember how resourceful mind. these people are with how little they have see young man you'll be a great one someday stay focused and do what your parents don't need elders and after talking to a few locals we learned that there hasn't been much of an opportunity for the women on the island to earn money for themselves most of them are overly reliant on their husbands. However, on the first night, Darren met overly reliant on their husband. Don't have an opportunity to make money for themselves. How their husbands are doing right by their wives and taking care of them and not have them slave or cast at their feet or wrap them on their fingers. And you know, you have some people that are like, narcissistic and manipulative and all that things but things i never imagined bro you're the husband bro you should be like seeing the value in them bringing their value up and self-esteem and confidence and all of that because you're one but a lot of people don't see it that way however on the first night darren met sandra the only female fisherman on the island who offered to teach him how to fish but dan had a different plan Birds make Darren very jittery, especially small ones. So San Sandra is so dope, bro. Only female fisherman not being able to get job. Her father or somebody probably before was a fisherman or she has passion for it. Or maybe it's just her or also. So she uh, really has no choice but to like try to provide. But whatever it is, it's remarkable, bro. People from there are going to probably be written about Sandra and probably in books or they're telling their grandchildren and stuff a lot. When I was at the island in Colombia, there was this lady named Sandra and she was the only fisherwoman. She was so brave and so powerful and empowering and encouraging. You can be like Sandra, honey, don't know I'm out of it. If no one else is doing it, or you, and if that's your dream, you can do it like Sandra did. Sandra can be like a huge inspiration for you. Kudos to you, Sandra, and let's go mess with them. <laughs> or is it Darren? Birds make Darren very jittery, especially small ones. So Sandra and I have come up with a plan to capsize the boat. The boat's already sinking. <laughs> so you've got a fish, dude. 
Just try. Yes, you can. No, you're fishing. <laughs> we are lying in what's left of our one Dignity. <laughs> Darren says he's lying in what's left of his dignity. He said, oh boy, it's ruined after it turns Sanchez boat. This has never happened in all the years of fishing. I'm so wonderful at it that I turned the boat over. Maybe it was just a huge catch, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the next morning, it was time to get to work. Alongside Give Power and Better Earth, two awesome organizations who didn't just provide us with the necessary equipment to bring this vision to life, but also flew out some of their best team members to help Darren, as he was clearly struggling. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Beast, Give Power, and Better Earth. Helping uh, others that are less fortunate, and you didn't have to do it, bro. They genuinely didn't have to do this, bro, and they did it. And they didn't ask for anything in return. A lot of people wouldn't do it. And even if they did, they want a lot of things in return and a lot of things before they start. Awesome organizations who didn't just provide us with the necessary equipment to bring this vision to life, but also flew out some of their best team members to help Darren. As he was clearly struggling. <laughs> See, not only providing the resources, but a manpower to get it done as well, so. Give power and better art. Mr. Beast, Darren, Dan, the whole team, Sandra, and everyone there in the island of Columbia. More power to you. Just keep striving. <laughs> it's been absolutely brutal working in this heat. Part of the surprise to the community was not just reliable electricity and internet, but also to turn this empty shell of a building next door into a fully functioning bakery and to empower the women on the island to create an everlasting source of income and sustainable fresh food for their island and communities. Oh, that's awesome, bro. What I was talking about, ladies can make source income. They can make income, bro. Bro, this is so nice. The kids getting like sweets and cakes and not so much, but in moderation. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be cakes only. It can be like banana bread or puddings or stuff like that but this is so good bro it's like memories of this bakery can be like wonderful this place all together so <laughs> When Darren's seen doing manual labor in these videos it's only for a smidgen of time for the rest of the time he's doing he's doing that Hey, yo, Dan's just, he's a dumb. I guess that's why they call him Dan. Why does Dan do Darren like this, bro? When Darren's seen doing manual labor in these videos, it's only for a smidgen of time. For the rest of the time, he's doing... Dan is a contractor. I understand. He probably can't go as hard in this whole boss. Bro, it's, it's a charity video. What the hell's wrong with your mind with all this boss stuff? But anyways, probably can work. Golly, I can't. Nobody can say anything these days without play all that crap. Um, the heat, he said the heat's getting to women and so forth. But he's doing a pretty good job, right? You know how much hard work it takes to sleep by that, bro? He's building his legs so when he get up, he can, like, lift more stuff with his weight and carry more stuff and be more when he's football angry than you were. You guessed it. You're done, bro. He's doing that. Darren! I was dreaming about air conditioning and internet. Darren was starting to go crazy. The heat, bro. The breast say was dreaming about air conditioning and internet. That's crazy. Easy without internet. And when failing to find any, he noticed that almost everyone has phones, but no internet for them. So he set out to find out why. Carol was telling me that she has to record a TikTok and then have her cousin take it to the mainland, upload it, and then she'd have to wait two weeks to see if anybody had even watched it. But this will provide so much more than just access to social media. Internet will be a lifeline to this community. This is a way for their kids to get educated. This is a way for them to find solutions to problems they run into. 
This is a way for them to communicate with the outside world when there's an emergency over here. After four brutal days of labor, everyone came together to make the impossible possible. By converting what was once just a broken home into an incredible source of food and income. Get the solar panels in place as well as set up the Wi-Fi satellite dish. Even though we're on an island that has no internet access whatsoever, the kids here still know about Mr. Beast. And when he found out about this, he sent them a special message which we're about to surprise them with. Hola, it's Mr. Beast. Isla brings our los amor. No habla espanol, but I'm very grateful for you. I want to thank a long-term partner, an amazing... Good doesn't go unnoticed, bro. Probably don't realize, or might be no one I know it is it. But the universe, God, wavery, like, will bless you, bro. And you'll feel good. And, like, it is, like, so many wonders. Not to have, like, a bravado or talking about a person like I did. Nah, no, it's, like, just helping and makes you feel good. Because, remember, parents probably get help. Grandparents probably get help. But there are issues or some family members. Or even if nobody in your family never got help even though i thought a best friend or someone got help bro, or they show you kindness in a time where you know you really needed it the most and probably wasn't getting it from like bro so help others and we'll be great for just... a long-term partner an amazing sponsor of ours electric e-bike just this year alone they've helped beast planet to be changed tens of thousands of lives all around the world which is in line with their company mission to improve the world and better people's lives while being energy efficient. I haven't told anyone this before, but I actually can't ride a bike. <laughs> Thank you for doing this, Darren. Oh yeah, of course. Why are your arms shaking so much? I'm trying not to let you fall. <laughs> We've been faking it this whole time. Check out their website, click the link in the description down below, and let's go back to the video. The next morning, the women were up at dawn and had already started baking and delivering fresh bread. Carol was recording TikToks and the school kids had a new way to learn and grow. To see the island transform like this in literally four days was incredible. And we are so grateful to the locals for inviting us to their beautiful island, which we will be back to visit soon. Just not for Darren to fish. A special thank you to Better Earth and Give Power for all they contributed to this project. I really do appreciate it. When you watch these videos, it shows you care about these philanthropy. 100% of sponsorships, ad revenue, merch sales, any revenue this channel generates goes towards helping people in need. And by you watching these videos, you're showing you care and want to help more people. Also subscribe right now.